All right, welcome to module one. So this is the first video of the whole class. And the first thing I want to do is talk a little bit about how the videos work. What I want you to do during the videos is take notes. So while I'm talking, I hopefully you're going to treat this like a regular class. You're going to sit at your desk or wherever you are and have a notepad or a piece of paper, whatever you're using, and you're going to write down things as I say them. And you'll write down diagrams as I see them. That way it's more like the face-to-face -face class where, you know, to be honest with you, if you don't take notes like that, especially for this class, you're just not going to do as well. So I encourage you to take notes. That said, the PowerPoint slides that I use as the basis for what I'm talking about are available. And those are up on the website and they're, you know, they're great for me because I know everything I need to know about networking. What I'm going to be doing in the class is telling you what you need to know and not everything you need to know is in those slides. So if you're taking notes as you go, you're going to be doing a lot better in this class probably. But you can do it however your own learning style um, works for you. And so you know we'll just keep moving on. I guess the other thing about the uh, videos you need to keep in mind is these are all filmed at different times. Uh, sometimes I'm in the studio at ODU with a fake background and you'll see me like in front of library books and in some weird office. And other times I'm just sitting in front of a camera and it's pointing right at me and I'm in my office and you're seeing like my actual computer and everything I work with. Um, you'll also see different hair, like I'll have shorter hair, longer hair. That's because all the videos are filmed at different times and it's because I update these videos as you know, things change and as they need to be updated. So just expect some differences in the videos. Now. That said, it's time for a lecture. First thing I'm going to do is give you a foundation of this course. And this course, remember, is called Introduction to Networking and Cybersecurity. And I'm here to give you the basics of networking that you need to know if you're an IT major or a cybersecurity major in order to properly learn how to do your job. So we're going to start a little bit with an overview of the field. So now it's time to start taking notes. Uh, first thing you need to take uh, keep in mind here is uh, what is the like where do we fit here with other fields in IT and other majors in like across the university that are involved in the same um, in IT. In this course, you are here to learn basically how and why telecommunication networks are designed. So networks are information systems. That is, it's a process by which we get information transmitted across the network. It's an information system that needs to be designed. And we design those, we have a pretty set technique of analyzing, designing, and implementing this system. So you're gonna be learning the basics of analyzing and somewhat about designing the networking systems. So the other thing what we need to know here too is virtually every application you're gonna use is using network uh, resources. That's, you know, everything is. You know, even the stupidest cell phone app you have, uh, it, you might think, oh, everything this app does is on my phone. And in reality, there's networking code somewhere in there. And those of you in cybersecurity are going to know that means you can be hacked. Those of you that are developers should know that means when you're developing, you're going to need to know networking. So this is the class where you're going to do it. Networking is super, super highly specialized. I'm going to give you a few examples, but there are lots more. So specialization. The first level of, of a network is how the physical connections are made. So that's the cabling. There's people that specialize in different kinds of cabling. The cabling that runs inside the walls of a building is a lot different than the fiber optic cable that runs on the telephone poles within Norfolk. So people specialize in the kinds of things they do. You're gonna eventually start specializing too. And it also means when you contract this out, you need to find a specialist that actually knows what they're doing. Now, if you move up a layer from the physical layer, um, we're gonna talk about, for example, ethernet switching. That's a different kind of technology and a different specialization than someone who's doing ATM switching, MPLS switching, IP routing is a different specialty, and within those specialties people will specialize in the equipment of specific vendors. So you might be a Cisco, you might be a Juniper, there's lots of different specialties in the business. And not to leave you cybersecurity people out, you might specialize in web server security, 
There's people who specialize in workgroup security. You might do VPNs. There's lots of different specializations in everything. So look for specialists. And you know, this class, by the way, is probably the last really general class you're going to have. After this, pretty much everything you do is going to be somewhat specialized. So not to leave out, I mean, we just talked about the basic people um, in the field. The people who design the networks are also sort of organized by field of study. I'm in the IT department and we're in the business school. We think about networking a little bit differently than some of the other fields. And I want to talk specifically right now about electrical engineering. Those are the people who handle signaling for us in networking. Signaling is the very most fundamental part of networking. Signaling is how you get a bit transmitted across a distance such that the receiver can recognize the, you know, whether it was a one or a zero. They can reliably receive it. So electrical engineering is very important to us because that has a lot to do with the distances we can travel. So electrical engineering, nice. So all respect to them. The next people we also have a big debt to is the computer scientists. Now those folks are the ones who design the processes, the protocols, and the device software in the devices we use, like switches, routers, firewalls, every other device. So the computer scientists are the ones who organize the bits. Now again, we're in IT in the business school, and what we're interested in is people working in end user organizations. So we work for a company, and we're there to make sure the networking works for the people in there. We want to make sure they have the networking that can enable them to get their work done securely. So if you're a specialist in networking, you're going to be there to translate the business needs into the specifications for a network. And we'll do that over the course of this class. Security specialists, same deal. You're working in an end user organization. That organization will have information assets that they want to protect and you're there to design the protections that protect them. And finally, not to forget developers, you're also in here hopefully, and you need to know enough about networking that you can intelligently design the systems applications that are gonna run on a network. So pay attention, you know, we're here to get some work done. So what's so special about the business school or what's different about us? We're here to understand users. And there's lots of layers of users. For example, one of them is this idea in the business of having a return on your investment. That is, you're not going to buy an equipment as a business that isn't going to provide you with a benefit that at least is equal to and hopefully exceeds the value of what you bought it for. So in a business, as a business school student, you need to recognize that we don't make changes just because we wanted to as the IT people. We made changes because they needed to be done, that we have a benefit to them. Uh, user focus also refers to like just the people that are using it. There's different types of users and their traffic might have different priorities. So for example, a business's traffic between their customers might be more important than the traffic, let's say, used to transmit accounting data, or, I don't know, maybe your, I don't know, generic web access is not gonna have a priority. And finally, I guess an overall sense of this is what we call, and you probably ought to remember this, is this is a system or a tools in use perspective. We have a tools in use perspective that is, we give people a tool and we're interested in how they're using the tool we, as the networking and cybersecurity specialists, understand how the tool is built, the components, but we also need to know how it's being used in order to effectively work for our users. So overall, the purpose of this class is to provide you with a conceptual and a practical overview of networking and network security. So there will be concepts involved in this class but trust me, every single thing we do is a very normal networking activity. Everything you're doing right now as a student, just watching these videos is a networking activity. So trust me, everything you learn is gonna apply pretty much directly to what you do in your day-to-day -day life. So we have a few more videos in this module that are gonna come cover some of the most important foundational topics we need to know and the vocabulary. 
And we're going to have later module that's basically every single little topic overview we do now is going to be covered in a lot more detail. So you'll see me in the next video and that's it.